Mine's about eight seconds right now. Health good. Okay, boss fight. Not a particularly difficult boss fight, but boss fight. Let's try this. I always remember this boss fight because it looks okay. interesting and it reminds me of a boss fight in Evolution, but it's not a particularly, like, interesting boss at the end of the day. That attack is basically all it does. This should work. Buy some heals. This thing should go down relatively quickly. Now see, that is unpleasant. I don't like that. I really don't like that. You do that. Toss a Curia Crystal on Fina. And you beat the crap out of it. Let's try this. Having a waste of turn to undo confusion sucks. Oh. Ow. See, that's kind of bullshit. I took my attack up and made an attack down. So now I have to, kind of while doing Cutlass Fury, I've got a Curia that, and then I have to up him again. Because his damage down will count, will overwrite my damage up, but my damage up will not overwrite his damage down. Damage down is gone, so we won't have a really powerful... Okay, can you stop it with this nonsense? Leave poor Fina alone. Like, seriously. I'll still be going for a bit. But when you get back, I will still be here, I think. Let's try this. <clears throat> Not 
not going to wake Fina up just because she doesn't contribute enough to the combat. She might get hit by damage or something that'll get her going again. Also, Drachma, come on, man. And actually, uh, Ivanius, if you leave now, you're going to miss Grendel. Because a Grendel happens immediately after this. <clears throat> after Grendel's a good time, because I'll just be doing discoveries. We won! We won! Grendel takes about 10 to 15 minutes after the cutscenes that follow this fight. Grendel is the next, uh, Gigas, the next Titan. Ooh. You know, I have this incredibly hard time reconciling, on the one side, very intelligent, extremely advanced civilization. On the other side, we write in pictograms. Actually, it might be a little bit longer. It might be 20 minutes. I think I have to fight Chameleon 2 before I fight Grendel. Okay, after some cutscenes, and I think I have to fight Chameleon 2, but then uh, it's, it's Grendel. You missed! You were so close, Drachma! Also, rail grinding is for every game. Talk to me. What's going on? Yeah, they knew what the High City was the entire time, and now they're going to use Grendel. <gasps> yep, this is a really bad idea, but they're going to do it. They already knew where this place was, how to awaken the giant... Everybody thinks it's a good idea to awaken these things. Of course, we know it's a terrible idea. Here comes Grendel. Oh yeah, he's a giant. An absolute giant. You'll be seeing him in just a minute. There's the beam of light that shows he's coming. So, there's Alfonso's flagship. I heard you entered the mines, sir. Are you all right? Never speak of the mines again. So they're doing the stupid thing and flying directly for the giant green beam of light. So this is what I meant by the world is a lot bigger than the overworld shows us. Here he is. The giant Grendel.
He's awake and he is pissed. So that's how big he is. One of his fists is the size of a Valuan ship. Crandall always had this very weird design. Okay, so Alfonso's going to... So that's how big he is. Ah, uh, no, this is not, uh... <laughs> this is not Shadow of the Colossus. to climb him we have to shoot him which in my eyes is even cooler again this is not shadow of the colossus so there's the chameleon too And here comes the Moonstone Cannon. Unfortunately, it missed. It wasn't calibrated correctly. Knocks out the king. The problem is, if the king gets knocked out, the Gigas goes nuts. Like, he doesn't really know what to do. So it gets pissed. And a pissed off Gigas decides to break things. Like, break things. Not good. Okay. So, we have to fight DeLoco first, and after we fight DeLoco, we fight the- we fight Grendel. Okay. Now, you can tell by the music this is considered to be a standard fight, not a true boss fight. Okay. Uh, so Little Jack is still damaged from the last time we fought. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of get ready. That's what I want, right? Yes. Just going to heal up the ship. And then take some evasive action just so we don't take much damage. And then we're going to use the gear grease to give us some spirit for uh, the next round. Okay, so here comes some damage, but we're not going to take it. Or we're going to take a little bit of it. See? A little bit of damage. One thirteenth of my total HP. 
there's the gear grease. All of a sudden, we have spirit. He's just kind of getting ready. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take a chance at open fire. So we're going to beat the ever-loving crap out of him. Now, the deal is, though, is that I need to be ready next turn to beat him. So we're going to drop some damage on his face. But the true damage comes next turn. Did you actually see? He just kind of stopped in midair. A little bit of damage. Nothing big. Just, 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 just a snooch. It's just gonna sit there. We'll drop some more damage on his face. Bud. He's just gonna sit there and he's gonna take it. Hey, that's fine. Now we're going to take a base of action, because for some reason we decide to go directly in front of him, which is the worst place we could be. But we get caught in the test cannon. He dealt some damage. He dealt a little bit more damage than his handgun did. So now I can punish him. Okay, this may actually out and out take him out this turn, because I dealt some damage last turn. Take damage! Not quite, wow. He's got more health and defense than I expected. Not gonna last much longer though. Nice. Oh, he was taking base of action. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. But he's gonna try to do some damage to me. But that's cool. I'm taking the base of action. It'll be fine. Oh, man. He's just kind of not doing anything. It's like his ship is terrible or something. I wonder why I would come to that conclusion. Open fire on him. Watch that. What do I want to do? I want to launch that. We'll launch that. And we'll evade. We're either going to take him out this turn or next turn. We might actually out to outright take him out next turn. Gonna shoot me on this turn with the handgun? No, oh, he's moving again. I thought he stopped. He didn't. Oh, he lost a torpedo. Okay. That's the problem. Like, with the yellows and the reds, sometimes it's a suggestion that something may happen this time. It doesn't necessarily mean something will. Okay, you pay in the ass. I'm tired of your shit. 
I'm tired of your ship. Ooh. Ooh. He's got some big cojones on him. You know this we're gonna do. Do a sack raise to get our health back. Then we're gonna fire. And if he's still alive, we'll do another sack raise. And then we'll do a repair kit. No. Then a deluxe kit. And then we'll fire again. Chances are we're going to take him out with this next shot. But misses are a thing that happens. Hey, Little Jack is doing just fine, man. No, see? See? We lost. For some reason, I wasn't allowed to shoot him on that turn. This jerk. I'm so glad that I did not, like, dedicate myself to that shot. Little Jack is healed. Shoot! Shoot! Shoot her! Shoot her! Okay, we win. Bye, DeLoco. Nah, he's still not dead. He's still very much alive, sadly. But the fight's over. Now it's time to deal with Grendel. Our little fishing vessels beating everybody. Hey, boy. So the idea is not Grendel in the canyon. Oh, Deloco's ship is terrible. It's absolutely bad. The problem with him is that he keeps on throwing these prototypes into his ship, and the prototypes are amazing, but he never finishes them before he starts using them. The cannon he fired is amazing, just it wasn't ready. Okay, so the Grendel fight is kind of weird. So look, this is how big the land is supposed to be. So compare this to the overworld. So the Grindel fight is a lot like the Recumen fight from from earlier. Um, it's not a kill it fight. It is a last long enough to do the deed uh, fight. So Grindel is occasionally just gonna, you know, hey, this is my fist, smack, it just launches us. So we can do some damage, and our damage isn't terrible, but... That's not a boulder. That's an island. Like, that's not a boulder. Good thing we were taking evasive action. We're going to stay up by its head. We'll do two shots. And we'll start focusing. The problem is... Am I saying the game lies? The game absolutely lies. In fact, uh, Grendel's uh, HP bar is actually lying. You can't actually kill him. 
I actually, one time, I actually sat and, uh, tried just shooting him to kill him, because I'm like, oh, hey, look, you know, there's, uh, you know, he's got an HP bar, I should be able to just kill him, right? So I just sat for a while, because the only way to finish the, uh, fight is to shoot your, uh, shoot the harpoon cannon. Uh, and he just, it stops going down at a certain point until you shoot the harpoon cannon. So we're just gonna continue focusing and build up plenty of SP for the turn when we actually get to do something. Okay. Go ahead and use some apple wax. Launch that. And defend. So he's preparing a big attack. Hopefully, firing the harpoon cannon will actually do something here. He wield a crap ton of damage, but you notice his health bar did not change much. I think there's about two or three more rounds to this fight. And backhand! That pointy thing on the bottom is his pelvis and his coccyx. gonna heal up. Get the apple wax going. at aiming those things, too. They fly, like, faster than the speed of sound. Uh-oh. There's a chance this could kill me. Okay, we're good. I was a little bit worried for a second there. Okay, now we're good. Okay. I keep attacking. There's kind of no point, you know, not attacking right now. Okay, what we're waiting for is we're waiting for a certain trigger. There's a certain point where Grendel, uh, like, starts going nuts again. And that's what we're waiting on. When he starts going nuts, I can actually finish the fight. It'll probably happen after this round. Fire. 
He did another 1,200 damage. You know, we're, his health bar is going down. You'll see that. But there's going to be a certain point very soon where his health bar ceases to, 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 to go down. Flap. I just got bitch slapped by a giant. So now he's having a headache. Okay. So, basically, that's what I do. That's all that we're doing, is we're just waiting to get this one shot off with the, uh, with the harpoon cannon. Once we get that, this fight's over. Basically, now it's not able to have such an amazing, um, like, sense of balance. Come on, Rose. You can do it, sweet thing. There you go. That will be good. thing with little jack it takes a licking keeps on ticking okay he hits us even harder you feel sad for him well we're not killing him we're just knocking him into a canyon And there we go. The fight is now over. Captain Stripe, Grendel Wing, and a complete kit. The uh, Captain Stripe, of course, increases our HP and some of the parameters. The wing is a really good weapon, and the complete kit uh, is, you know, full heal. Great power, you need great responsibility. I'm kind of, I think we talked about this last time I played the game. I'm kind of curious what came out first, this or Spider-Man. Okay. And now we get the green stone. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, yeah. so now we can go to Valua. Would you ladies like to stay in Ixataka? Hey. <laughs> Everybody has a laugh. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Isil Seed, we'll use that real quick. Silf Seed, use that real quick. If Aka Brindle Wing, which is really powerful, actually. Go ahead and use Captain Stripe. Time to return to the little jack. We need to go uh, buy a few things from the merchant right here. Uh, 
Uh, not that guy. This guy. And sell the Gates of Rixus. To buy... Uh, like, a bunch of that. Okay. Okay. So we are now done with the green lands, and now we're moving on to the lands of the yellow moon. So step one of this is really annoying. There's a very specific spot around where I am now. I don't remember where it is. Yeah, that's one of the discoveries. It's not the one I want. There's a spot around here that is a discovery. And it's just a random spot. Uh, are there any more giants? Not a giant like Grendel was. Uh, all of the Gigas are like giant monster things. So, um... Yeah, there's a lot of giant monster things, but Grendel was the only like giant giant. Will of the Wisps. We have a couple more discoveries to make, and the, the island that I'm looking for is probably the worst one to try to find. I don't know if I'd say the biggest of them all. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Because remember, the final one is pretty darn big. Okay, Fina got Sac Rome, which is important. Okay, so uh, what we're looking for, we're going to go grab two of them that are down here. One which moves, one which doesn't. And then I need to get that other invisible island, and the problem is it's 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 just it's just a pain. It is one of the most annoying discoveries of the first half of the game. Actually, to be honest, it probably is the most annoying discovery of the first half of the game. And everything's running. They all run away, so he's like, oh shit, let me get a friend. I'll see for that. Nice. Okay. So there's the first one. That's the moving one. Now the second one. 
I may or may not be able to actually get. It's kind of a weird one. It actually lies in lower sky as opposed to mid sky, which is where I am now. And uh, I think I can reach it. Okay. I'm, I should maybe think about taking on the X and S demons as well while I'm here. Is it over already? I mean the final the final gig is is pretty damn large. Yeah, I'm not, not seeing the thing I'm looking for. But I can't remember if you can see this one or if you just have to Some discoveries you can't see, they're just plain invisible. And I can't remember if this is the if this is one of those types of discoveries that are just invisible. It might be it might be invisible until we find it. I might have to wait on it until uh until later. try to get the invisible one over here and then we'll move on and I'll forget the one that's in Undersky and I'll just get that later because this one I have to get is annoying enough already oh, enjoy your food And I kind of know where it is. If I remember correctly, it is between these two islands. That is about all I remember. And it is one of the most annoying ones to find.
I might pull up a map of this one just so I can find it faster. Because I know which one it is. I know where it is. I have the map up. I try not to refer to it much, but I know this specific one is one that I want to get. I know where it is, or I know what it is, I just have to actually get it. Okay. 